Hi there. In this tutorial we are going to talk about how to export your model into ZBrush or really any 3D application of your choice, assuming that it will accept STL files. So the first thing that we want to do is go through your geometry here and make sure you don't have anything left over from construction that you might have cloned off, uh, such as a piece like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click and delete it. And then the next thing we want to do is right click here at the, uh, the top of the stack and select the Save as STL option. And we'll get this little Save as STL menu here. So we need to switch the refinement from medium to high and then here in refinement options, this normal deviation is going to be kind of the ultimate quality setting. 10 is the lowest quality and one is the highest quality. There's a significant difference in file size. So I'll just go ahead and export one at 10 and then one at one and we can kind of look at the difference in, in ZBrush. So uh, let me go ahead and do that. I'll hit OK here. And we can save this as knife normal deviation 10. And we'll save that out. And you can see that takes no time at all. And then we can do another one. I'll right click at the top of the stack, go to save as STL, switch refinement to high, and here in refinement options, I will put this at one. In fact, you know what? Two. Uh, to my eye, uh, looking at a different model, there's very little difference between one and two. If you export it two and you still have little holes or little issues, you can go ahead and drop it down to one, but I think in this case, two is going to be just fine. So go ahead and hit OK. And in this case, we will switch this to O2. And hit save. All right, now we can hop over to ZBrush. And in order to import this, we need to go to Z plugin, and then you will see a 3D print exporter plugin, and then you just want to click STL import, and we'll go ahead and grab knife 10. And there you are, and if I turn the polyframe off, you can see it's pretty dark. I'm gonna go ahead and just fill object with white. Um, I guess it's probably getting that color information from uh, the material. And as you can see, at level 10, which is the uh, the crappiest quality, I'm not seeing any problems with this geometry at all. It is nice. Very, very clean. And everything also is, uh, all of the individual components are uh, unwelded. So you can do an auto groups, you could poly groups and then auto groups. And now everything is kind of broken out uh, into uh, various groups and you can do split the parts and get all of your individual components here. So if I turn solo on, I've got my blade, and uh, this will make doing material assignments for your for your high poly bakes uh, very, very easy. And uh, just for fun, let me go ahead and we'll import the uh, level two version here. So that's gonna be back in Z plugin, 3D uh, print exporter, and then STL import, and level two. And do another fill object there. And this is obviously going to look pretty much the same because there weren't any real obvious issues. But uh, if you look at the file size or the poly count, this is probably, probably significantly higher. I can actually figure that out. So this was uh, 600K. And let's just go ahead and re-import that uh, uh, 10 version there. And this one is 146,000 polygons. So you can see a significant difference there. Uh, so depending on what you're looking for, uh, you know, this might be fine. If you've got a lot of little tiny, small curved edges, you may need to, to uh, reduce your normal deviation. But uh, either way, you should be able to get a nice clean model out of Fusion 360 and into the 3D application of your choice.